Let's look at the solution of this set now. Eight persons, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, belong to the same family. And they sit around a circular table facing the center, not necessarily in the same order. The following information is known about them. Blah and blah. So the first thing you have to take care of is there are two factors that you have to consider. One, you need to get their family relations also right. And second, you need to get the order in which they're sitting. Typically in such sets, the description is given in terms of family relations only. So the first thing you should be worrying about is how are they related with each other? So first thing is, uh, I write down information this way. P sits second to the right of his nephew, whose neighbors are females. So as of now, I know P is a male. So I put him in a square box like this. And his nephew, so somewhere else there is going to be a male. Somewhere else, there is going to be a male that is not the son of P, but in a generation below him. And blah, blah. Location-wise clues, I'll worry about them later. V is the wife of P and sits to the immediate right of her daughter P. So there is V, wife of P, and they have a daughter T. So three people, we know how they're related to each other. Okay. U sits second to the right of his brother-in-law and opposite his son Q. Now I know U and U and U has a son. U has a son. So U and Q could be here. U and Q could be here in the second generation, third generation, first generation, second generation, wherever. We'll worry about this later. Next is S sits third to the right of her sister-in-law and second to the left of her father. Now, this is interesting. S necessarily has to be in the second generation. S, because there is a sister-in-law uh, in her row and there is also a father on, on a previous generation. So, S is here, third to the right of her sister-in-law. Now, see, there, is, there are two. If there is somebody in the top generation, usually there will be two. Then there are, uh, because there is a sister-in-law involved, there will be some, at least three people here. And there are at least two people in the third generation. Seven people are already taken care of. So I'm going, S is not here. S is the mother here. And the sister-in-law being talked of is V. This also tells me, you sit second to the right of his brother-in-law and opposite to his son Q. You should be the father here. You and S should be married. And they have a son Q. Now S is father is R. S is father is R. This is also done. And the last clue left now, W is the mother-in-law of you. So if W is the mother-in-law of you, W is here. W is here. And adjacent to her grandson, adjacent to Q. Now between P and V, who is the direct descendant of R and W? If we get the clue from here, S sits second to the right of her sister-in-law. Her sister-in-law will be V. So if V is the sister-in-law, V cannot be the direct descendant of R and W. So the other kid they have is P. And now we have the entire family tree decoded. Let us go on to make them sit on a circle. There are eight people, so eight markings. First is P sits second to the right of his nephew, whose neighbors are females. So the nephew is here, P is here. These are males, males. This is female, this is female. Okay, one thing I remember, this should be RW, I think. RW. Okay, I will worry about this later. No, no, it is not RW. It is R and S is already done. So R and V. This should be R V. Okay. Now this is P, this is Q. Now V is the wife of P and sits to the immediate right of her daughter T. Right now we don't know where T is, so we don't know where V is either. U sits second to the right of his brother-in-law and opposite his son Q. So U sits here. Use it here. This is taken care of. This is taken care of. S sits third to the right of her sister-in-law and second to the left of her father. R. 
this is an important clue for placement because let's look at this part. If S was here, third to the right of her sister-in-law, no, she would be third to the right of Q, so S cannot come here. Can S be here? Third to the right of her sister-in-law? No, she would be third to the right of P. If S is here, can she be third to the right of her sister-in-law? Possibly. But she will not be second to the left of her father because she would be second to the left of Q. Can S be here? Third to the right of her sister-in-law? U would be third to the right of her sister-in-law. She would be third to the right of U. So that is not possible. And by default, because all four other options are gone, this has to be where S comes in. And now she's third to the right of her sister-in-law. Her sister-in-law will come here, V. Now about V, we knew. V sits to the immediate right of her daughter, T. So T is also here. Additionally, S was second to the left of her father, R. So R sits here. And the only person left is W. Right now, we also have this last clue. W is the mother-in-law of U and adjacent to her grandson. Yes, she is adjacent to her grandson. So we have the precise location also, the family relation also. Let's get to the individual questions. Who among the following is the wife of U? Wife of U is S. And it seems A is correct. But pay attention, there is an option, both A and B. So we have to check other options also. The one who is opposite T. Opposite T, we have S. So yes, this is also valid. A is also valid. B is also valid. So the correct answer here has to be D. Next, who among the following is the niece of S? Niece of S is T. Looks like C is the answer, but again, you have to check. There is an option, all of the above. So we have to check other options also. The one who sits opposite S, opposite to S, we have T. So yes, this is also valid. At this time only, I can mark B. I don't have to check B for verifying all of the above. If I have got two options that are correct, then the third one also has to be correct. For sake of completion, we'll also look at uh, option B. The one who sits to the immediate right of S's husband. S's husband is U, to his immediate right is T. So yes, B is also valid. The correct choice here will be D. Next, which among the following is definitely true? R and V sit adjacent to each other. R is here, V is here. No, they are not adjacent to each other. T and her mother sit opposite to each other. T's mother is V. They are not sitting opposite to each other. They are sitting adjacent to each other. W sits third to the right of her son. W sits third to the right of U. U is not her son. U is her son-in-law. So W does not sit third to the right of her son. So A, B, C all get rejected. So the correct answer has to be none of these. And last question. Four of the following are alike in a certain way and hence form a group. Which, of, which is the one that does not belong to that group? T, U. Okay. Adjacent. Adjacent and uh, RS not adjacent, VW adjacent, RV not adjacent. Why I'm doing this is right now I've been told four of them are uh, four of the following. Sorry, it should not be three of the following are alike in a certain way and hence form a group. Which is the one that does not belong to that group? So three of the following are alike and one is odd. So I'm looking at TU, they were adjacent. VW, they are adjacent. RS and RV are not adjacent. So it is not about ad adjacency or it is not about which two parties are next to each other. Okay. Let's look at TU in terms of generation. T and U in two separate generations. R and S in two separate generations. V and W in two separate generations, R and V in two separate generations. So this is also not it. I know the answer, yet I am doing there could be different ways in which people arrive at it. Next thing I am looking at are genders. T and U, male-female combo. R and S, male-female combo. R and V, male-female combo. But V and W are just the only female-female combo. This is the only female-female combo. And therefore, this is the right answer for this question. There are two multi there are two streams of thoughts that you have to connect here. One is the family relation and the other one is the arrangement. If you do that in order, it would be 
easy to accomplish.